Hey guys, welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to tell you about how burning my hair on a regular basis is the best thing I have ever done for it. And I fully realize how clickbaity that sounds, but I promise it is not. This is actually the one thing that has made the biggest difference in the quality of my hair out of everything I've ever done. And I will tell you all about it today. We're going into all the details. Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Nord Green, who make very beautiful watches. And I get to give you guys a 35% discount. So we'll talk about that a little bit further down in the video. But let's get started. Let's get into how I have been able to improve my hair a lot by burning it. Let's go. If you are new to my channel, I think I should start by explaining that I have a fascination for old time beauty practices, historical ways of hairstyling and doing makeup, especially hairstyling though. I do a bunch of videos where I try and recreate old ways of hairstyling and hair care as well. And when I come across an interesting sounding source, then sometimes I like to try out what it suggests and see what happens. So I did that a few months back with the Victorian and Edwardian practice of hair singeing. This is something that was very popular in those times. And I'm sure you've seen the photos of Victorian and Edwardian era ladies, like those very early photographs of all the women with the super long hair. Sometimes they had hair longer than floor length. Their hair care was very much focused around maintaining long hair and keeping it as healthy as possible and you know allowing it to grow that long because it was definitely a beauty ideal back then so there are some interviews with ladies who had that type of hair and there are also some hairstylist manuals to be found out there just contemporary from that time period so many of them talk about hair singeing so i dove into the topic a little bit to discover more about this practice, you know, what it's supposed to do, how it works. The point is to burn the tip of the hair off so that you seal it, so that it closes off and that is supposed to prevent split ends. They also believe that it would stop moisture dripping out of your hair. They thought if you cut hair open that it would kind of just allow the moisture to drip out and your hair would dry out. I don't really think that's how it works, but the whole sealing of the ends thing it makes sense. Basically what they suggest to do is to grab a strand of hair. You are always supposed to do this at a hairdresser's, let it, you know, let a professional do it. And basically you just take a strand of hair, you twist it around, and then you will notice little ends of hair popping out of this twisted strand. Then you're supposed to use a taper, which is a very thin long candle type thing, and go along the hair like that to burn off all of the ends that stick out and you're supposed to repeat that until you've treated all of the hair so basically the goal here is to have burned and sealed singed every single tip of hair in that video i tried it for the first time i was super nervous i had no idea what would happen i was very worried that i would just burn the strand of hair straight off but i very quickly discovered that it wasn't so bad i mean this is very doable even on your own hair. The practice of hair singeing in some shape or form is actually still done in some parts of the world. What I also read in the Edwardian hair stylist's manual is that this technique is especially useful for people with thin hair, fine hair that is prone to split ends. Now, if there ever was a person with fine hair prone to split ends, it is me. My hair type, it will just, it, it just splits. It splits pretty much instantly. After my hair gets cut, it only stays split free for maybe a couple of days. Within two weeks, my ends will be split again. There is pretty much no keeping up with it. I have tried so many different things to remedy that. Conditioning my hair, using more conditioner, using oils, oil treatments. I have tried sticking them together with silicones. I have tried cutting them more often. I have tried cutting my hair less, wearing it up more, wearing it up in my sleep, sleeping on wet hair, not sleeping on wet hair, pretty much anything you can try, I have tried. And there has never been a significant difference until now. Allow me to demonstrate. I don't want to do that thing where you take a strand and you burn all of the hair. I try to avoid heat damage as much as possible. And I feel like that is just unnecessary amounts of heat on the hair. So I personally like to go through my hair and pick out any split ends one by one. So I have one here. I 
don't think you can see that. Maybe I need to come up even closer. I take the split end and usually what I'll do is I'll just take a lighter, honestly. Last time I tried it, I lit a candle, but the advantage of a lighter is that you can cut the heat source very quickly. So I will just light it and I bring my end up close to the flame. I don't... whoops. <laughs> I bring my hair up close to the flame, um, but I don't actually touch the flame with my hair and it will kind of sizzle and burn that end off. So here is the hair. There we go. That's it. It's really, really simple. So that is how I do this. I go through all of my hair and if I plan to do a big session, because I usually I do a big session where I just, you know, do this for a pretty long time. Every once in a while when I feel it's necessary. Honestly, usually it's after I trim my hair. I do still trim my hair to make sure that the ends are nice and straight. So after I've done that, the splits will usually come back um, after a bit. So that's when I do a big session. And when I am doing a big session and I do this for a long time, I will usually light a candle and then just watch a show. And this way I have a bit more of a durable heat source and I'm not, you know, wasting as much lighter fuel. That's the word I was looking for. Oops. And yeah, that was a good example actually. Did you see that? When the hair does catch fire, it never burns for very long. So that is something that I don't really worry about. The hair is so long that it very quickly um, goes, you know, far enough away from the heat source and it won't just all burn up. The thing I have noticed is that a split hair that has been singed does not re-split as opposed to a cut hair, which will re-split pretty quickly. It does actually seal the hair and it won't split again. The only split ends I get now, or types of end damage, I guess, are the ones where you get this like white dot, like close to the end, not at the very tip, but close to the end. And that is a place where the hair will then break off. And when I get those, that is where hair does still split. That's not nearly as much as, um, you know, all of the hair splitting from being cut. And honestly, I find this very relaxing to do. It's very detailed manual work. I always enjoy that type of stuff. <laughs> so I'll just sit down, watch a show, uh, watch some YouTube videos. So since I've been doing this, I have noticed the biggest difference in my ends. Like I mentioned, the hair doesn't really split as quickly. <laughs> my ends actually look healthy for the first time pretty much since I was a teenager and just had really good hair. As apprehensive as I was last time about recommending this technique, Right now, I can say with conviction, this is very, very good. <laughs> you should try it if your hair type is similar to mine. Be careful, of course, please. This is fire we're talking about. There is a hazard, but as long as you do it responsibly, this is a method I definitely swear by now. And I don't think I'm ever going back to cutting my split ends or treating them in any different way. Before we move on, let's take a moment to talk about today's sponsor. The absolutely beautiful watch I am wearing today is by Nordgreen. They are a Danish brand who offer beautiful, minimal designs, very timeless pieces, very classic, suitable for all genders, ages, beautiful pieces that go with everything. I have been wearing mine loads. And one of the things that makes them so versatile is that you can get the watches with interchangeable bands. So I have this vegan leather one in brown, which is so beautiful, goes with a lot of my wardrobe. They do also have real leather if that's more your thing, but I also got a gold band with this so that when I'm not feeling the brown, I can just switch it to gold and wear it with that for a bit more of a classy look. It is really, really easy to switch these out. It comes with a little lever in the back that you just push, band snaps right off and you can uh, substitute the other one. I just have two here, but there are loads of options, different colors, different metals on their website. But besides the fact that they sell gorgeous watches, of course, the reason why I chose to work with North Green today is that they are a sustainable and ethical brand. They offset their carbon footprint by planting trees. Their packaging is made out of recycled material. They use recycled FSC certified cardboard and recycled plastic as well. They ensure good rights for their employees and a good working environment for them. And they are partnered with three NGOs through which they donate two months of clean water, 
two months of education and save 200 square feet of rainforest. So all in all, they make a huge effort to be as green as possible, which I really appreciate. So North Green are currently running a Black Friday sale with discounts of 20 to 30 percent. But with my code that I have for you today, you can get 35 percent off of your purchase. The code is loopsy35 and it is only valid through the 1st of December. And this is the highest discount that you can find anywhere. So, you know, just letting you know. <laughs> I want to give a massive thank you to North Green for sponsoring this video do be sure to check them out in the description and use the code for the discount i would love to know if hair singeing is something you would try if it is something that you have tried before funnily enough i was surprised in the last video to read in the comments how many people used to do this for fun not knowing it was actually good for your hair um, when they were younger <laughs> and just bored with the lighter. Some people mention that their grandmothers used to do this or do it to them or their own hair. So I would love to know any experiences you have with hair singeing because I do feel like it's still a pretty uncommon thing to do even though it is amazing and I feel like everyone should know about this. That is the end of this video guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, found it helpful. Let me know if you try it out, how you feel about this. I'd love to hear. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more beauty and lifestyle content and sewing and historical stuff. Thank you for watching guys and I will see you very soon in the next video. Bye. Mm. So this is the last of my Earl Grey. I'm gonna miss it, I need to get some more.